Alright, in this tutorial I'm going to give you guys a little speed run on how to create a mod from scratch using Sandbox 3 included with the Crisis 2 SDK 1.0 and 1.1. I'm currently using 1.1. Um, I'm also going to be showing you how to extract weapon files and mission equipment packs so that you can use your new or altered weapon in single player. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create the mod. So go ahead and go to File, Mod Info Creator. Select the New Mod Folder button, and I'm just going to name this Test. Actually, I already have a test. That's bad news. Let me delete that one. Ah, okay. New Folder, Test. Display name is going to be Test. Author, blah, 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 nah, 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 there we go. Save. Okay, and then close. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go to File, Pack Manager, and we're going to select, this is what we're doing now is we are extracting the files that we're going to modify for our own personal use. So open pack, and it should take you straight into this directory here, Crytek Crisis 2. Go ahead and select Game Crisis 2, and then select scripts.pack. This is asking you if you really want to open this because if you add shit to it and save it, you might F yourself. Select yes. Okay, then we're going to browse to scripts, entities, items, crisis 2, weapons, humans. Then we're going to, just for testing purposes, we're going to extract the scar to computer C program files. Ah, uh, Electronic Arts, Crisis 2, Mods, Test, Game Crisis 2. Make sure you select the Game Crisis 2 inside your test mod folder because if you don't, it'll extract it improperly. Go ahead and select OK. And this is very important. Create full path for the extracted files. Yes, if you do not, the game will not pick up on this weapon file. Bam! Now, we're going to go ahead and select open pack again. Now we're going to open up game data dot pack. Yes. Libraries. Equipment packs. Okay, now depending on which levels you want to edit, say if you were playing warehouse and you only wanted to edit the warehouse and give yourself your new weapon warehouse, you'd only extract that one. But for this purpose I'm going to go ahead and extract all of them. So I'm going to select the very last mission underscore and then I'm going to hit hold while holding the shift key I'm going to click on the top mission battery park I'm not sure what AI playground is so I'm not going to select that and if you notice it select all of them selected all of them now I'm going to go ahead and extract those once again same place program files x86 electronic arts crisis 2 and sorry I'm kind of waiting for an important email Ah! No, okay, it is working. Mods, test, Game Crisis 2. Make sure you select Game Crisis 2 because that's important. Select OK, and yes, you want to extract the full path. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and open up your Electronic Arts Crytek Crisis 2 folder, and then go ahead and hop into your mods folder, and then test. This is the mod we just created through the mod info creator. Now, go ahead and open up again Crisis 2 folder. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and modify that SCAR weapon file. So we're going to go into Scripts, Entities, Items, Crisis 2, Weapons, Humans, SCAR.XML. We're going to rename this to Tutorial.XML. Did I spell that right? Haha. -ha. Now, item name is going to be Tutorial. And the display name is going to be Tutorial. That's ultimately all you need to change to separate the SCAR from your new weapon. If you had left the item name to SCAR, that is ultimately what makes the big difference. You can probably leave this XML any name you want if I'm not mistaken. When the game looks for the weapon, it actually looks for this weapon name inside this file. That's the most important part there. So if you were to leave that to SCAR, your weapon name, it would probably conflict or something wouldn't work right, I'm sure. And the display name, of course, this is what will show up as in-game. So we'll just do something pretty obvious. 
staggered a little bit. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and save that. Now, we're going to go ahead and go back to... Wow, I can't see much. Um, Game Crisis 2 folder. Libraries, equipment packs. So now, this is the equipment pack part I was telling you about. This is important if you're playing single player because, as most of you know, who has ever modded or played Crisis 1, the console is not fully unlocked, so you can't give yourself a weapon at any point in time that you would like. So, we're just going to go ahead and edit these, and I'm going to show you how to add your new weapon to the mission. Go ahead and open this up, and you'll notice this is what you start with. You start with a Marshall, you start with a Nova, binoculars, and that's pretty much mandatory in all missions, I believe, and so is no weapon. So, rather than a Marshall, we're going to have it give us our new weapon which is Tutorial. And I took that name from that first part that I was telling you about that distinguishes it from the other weapons. And it is case sensitive, so don't make it capital T Tutorial, make it Tutorial, if that's how you spelled it in your weapon name. So go ahead and save that. Now, whenever you get to the warehouse mission, you will start with the Tutorial weapon. And as far as editing equipment packs and creating a basic weapon, that's about it. Actually, what I'll go ahead and do here is I will go back here, scripts, entities, items, crisis 2, weapons, humans, tutorial. We'll make it distinctive so you can obviously tell that you're using your custom weapons. So I think if we go down to... actually, I don't know what it is for magazine size. Scroll down here, it should say something like... oh, here it is. Damage rate Bloody, 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 duration, strength. Where is the magazine? Oh, there it is. Clip size. We'll set it to 300. So now we have a max capacity of 300, but we actually have to roll up here and edit the ammo file as well. Scar bullet, extra 40, capacity, 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 amount 40. That should start us with an outrageous clip size and outrageous amount of extra ammo. Actually, I forgot what I set the clip size to, so we'll just do 50. Capacity. 1,000. Minimum ammo, 50, sure. Modify the ammo's a little bit here. Okay, that's actually for single player and multiplayer. Those are the only difference between those two lines are the single player and multiplayer. Go ahead and save that. Now, we can actually close that all together. Now what we're going to do is, here in Sandbox, we're going to go ahead and go to File, Change Mod, and select Test, which is your mod you just created. Well, we're started. Would you like to continue? Yes. Well, that takes its sweet time. Okay, now I already have a, le a level comprised, so I'm just going to open up my weapon test. Pardon me. I'm actually having codec issues, so I'm sorry for the long delays. I can't actually edit them out because my video editing program does not like this codec that I record with, and I refuse to record anything else. So, I'm going to go ahead and select my spawn point and open up a flow graph I've already created. Now, basically, in my flow graph, I have it set up to remove all inventory so that I won't actually spawn with a weapon. So I'll go ahead and close that, and I'm going to hit Control G. That'll put you in game in the editor. Blah. It says I have a scar, but I really don't. So open up the console. I underscore give item tutorial. Oh well, looky there. Doesn't my weapon look strangely similar to a scarb with a 300 round magazine? It does. And that's about it. And this should work in single player as well. So. uh 
I hope this gave you guys a little insight on how to create a mod, create your own gun, etc. Actually, let me go ahead and I don't know if you guys noticed that when I gave myself the weapon, it actually said that funky name that I assigned it. I actually have to give myself another weapon here. Uh, Nova. There we go. See how it says M12 Nova on the weapon, but when I go back to my tutorial weapon, it actually says tutorial. That's basically proof of concept there. So, uh, hope this helped you guys out a little.